You know what? In today's hard hit economy, many businesses are starting to employ the homeless despite the risk that the homeless might take away jobs that rightly belong to the crazy. What program <laughs> or initiative would you suggest to help ease the homeless problem? Jay Moore. Look, I, first of all, the worst thing that happened to homeless people is you can like make a living at it. You know, you can just maintain. I see the same homeless people today I saw when I was 16. I used to visit Manhattan. It's the same people, they're out there. From now on, if you're homeless, there's only be two options. You either get your life together or you die, okay? <laughs> but I have a great idea for the homeless. Homeless Olympics. And if we had, <laughs> hold, hold, release. If we had a homeless Olympics, the U.S. would send over the freaking dream team, okay? You could have, we could have a whole decathlon. We could have events like, you know, the shopping cart push, the take a dump in your pants. You could have the nap, and my personal favorite, how many winter coats can you fit on your back in the summertime? All right. All right. DaneCook.com. Yes. DaneCook.com. Ellen! Hey, Colin, you know, funny you should ask. You know, Jay and I, we've put together aside our differences, and we've come up with a new reality show featuring the homeless. No sign selling pizza. They're just going to be wearing targets. Charlton Heston is hosting, and we're using them to train the military, and they're, go they're all going to get flown to White Sands Missile Target Range outside of sunny Las Cruces, New Mexico, and we're going to call it Last Homeless Person Standing. <laughs> and the winner gets an exclusive talent contract with the Home Shopping Network and a featured role on Yo! MTV Cribs. It's a damn good idea. All right. That, that's right. Number one, last comic standing. Hate if you want. A lot of people mm. love me too. Number one. Yeah, what do you get there? <laughs> Dane Cook. Yeah, love. Love makes a person feel like they can rise above any situation, um, and that is why we should start a homeless dating service called Spare Changes. <laughs> That's a laugh. See, once Crazy Dougie lays his murky eyes on the lady with 14 bags of empty soda cans, he will think he's homeless in heaven. In fact, when I see those two love pigeons embrace and start making out all hot and hungry, I'll be the first person to shout out, hey, you two, get a box. <laughs> all right. All right. Nikki D. My program is called Homeless Shlomeless. First of all, they should be called bums, not homeless. To be truly homeless, you have to have a hat home and have lost it. A refrigerator box blown in the wind doesn't count. <laughs> I'd have the NYPD staple fast food applications to their foreheads while they're passed out. That way, when they wake up, they will literally have a job opportunity staring them in the face. <laughs> If they're still not working in a week, we force them to go on Fear Factor and do really gross stuff like eating breath mints and touching soap. <laughs> All right, folks. That's the end of our show. Thank you very much for coming. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Thank you, much.